Imagine armor inspired by a fish. Not a shark, not an alligator. An Amazon river giant called the Arapaima. It shrugs off piranha bites like they're raindrops. Scientists are copying its scales to build lighter, tougher protection for people and planes. Here's the hook. In tests, piranha teeth dig in and stop. The scale doesn't shatter. It flexes, redirects the force and survives. That's exactly what modern armor struggles to do. Be both strong and flexible. So what's the trick? Each Arapaima scale is a tiny sandwich. On the outside, a hard mineral layer, like ceramic, built to take the first hit. Underneath, a tough, stretchy collagen layer, like leather, that deforms and spreads the impact. Together, they form a natural shield. Zoom in. The fibers are stacked in a twisting, plywood-like, bulligan structure. When a crack tries to run straight through, the twist forces it to turn, lose energy, and stop. Hard on the surface, forgiving underneath. That balance is the secret. Engineers are 3D printing scale patterns, layering ceramics on polymers and weaving fibers at Arapaima-inspired angles. Early prototypes cut weight without losing protection. Exactly what body armor and aerospace materials need. Every kilo saved in the air saves fuel and emissions. Every gram saved on a vest makes a long shift survivable. But nature didn't just make one perfect scale. It made a system. Overlapping tiles, like roof shingles, slide a little as the fish moves. That overlap prevents gaps while keeping flexibility. Copy a single scale and you get a neat material. Copy the whole arrangement and you get a flexible shield. What's next? Tunable scales. Harder where you need to stop penetrations, softer where you need to bend. Smart laminates that deflect cracks on purpose. Wing panels and drone skins that shrug off grit, hail and bird strikes. A fish that beats piranhas might help protect pilots, firefighters and first responders. Strong when it matters. Flexible when it counts. And if we get it right, lighter than anything we've built before.